Alright guys, it is Sunday, June 6, 2021 at 2.13am. Alright, let's take a look at these stories. We got earthquake swarm rattled California Salton Sea. A magnitude 5.3 earthquake shook the area near the Salton Sea on Saturday morning following a swath of smaller quakes. Let's take a look here. Major earthquake swarm hit Salton Sea. A magnitude 5.3 earthquake and hundreds of aftershocks rattled Los Angeles, San Diego, and Southern California and northern Mexico. Salton and Butte's awakening. An earthquake with a magnitude of 5.3 earth hit uh, the New Salton Sea area around 10.55 a.m., 24 miles northwest of El Centro in Southern California. Shaking was felt across Southern California at big centers like Los Angeles and San Diego, as well as in bordering Mexican cities. It says... As shown in the following map, the main earthquake was followed by a series of hundreds of aftershocks. The f magnitude 5.3 earthquake hit California in Calipatria, in, uh, in Imperial County, California, USA, at a very shallow depth of 3.6 miles beneath the epicenter. Let's take a look at the USGS map. So we can take a look quickly here at the Salton Sea area so you guys can take a look and see how many earthquakes rattled the area and are still rattling the area because it's still an ongoing event look at how many earthquakes look at this that is a lot of earthquakes that's a hundred and twenty four earthquakes that is a lot alright guys let's take a look at the next story we got a blast of Iranian steel uh, blast at Iranian steel plant. Latest in series of incidents. A local official told Iranian media that no injuries were caused in the incident and that the fire was under control. So this is a fire at Sarand Iranian Steel Company, June 6, 2021. That is a major blast. All right. Next, undetected Chinese fishing fleets suspected of invading Argentina's waters. A recent report documented that up to 6,000 foreign fishing vessels that disabled their public tracking devices for more than 24 hours along the border of Argentina's national waters, sounding the alarm that they could be illegally fishing in the country's exclusive economic zone. The Chinese fleet was responsible for 66% of these incidents, said the June report of the Oceana, a Washington-based nonprofit organization dedicated to protecting and restoring the global oceans. The report claims that hundreds of Chinese fishing vessels mainly target shortfin squid, which is vital to both Argentina's econ economy and ecosystem. It says here, a Chinese flagship is seized in the Galapagos Marine Reserve for carrying some 300 tons of fish, including several endangered species such as the hammerhead shark on August 25, 2017. It says the analyst analysis concludes that from January 2018 to April this year, undetected fishing activities took more than 600,000 total hours and many vessels turned off their automatic identification system with one mile off of Argentina's EEZ. The IAS from Global Fishing Watch, an online technology platform launched in 2016 by Oceana, SkyTruth, and Google, monitors and records data of the vessel's name, flag state, and location. It says Oceana's report showing Chinese vessels along Argentina's national waters. And you see here the little boats showing up right next to Argentina's national waters. Then they turn off their tracking and then they go in and they fish. And they take lots of fish and um, sharks and squid and whatever they feel like taking. So when you hear um, Chinese Navy, it's a lot of fishing boats. Also, they have Navy ships, but they also have a lot of fishing fleets that go out and do this. Alright, let's take a look now at the forecast models. This is um, from June 6th forward. We got lots of rain happening on the east coast. Lots of moisture for the eastern states. Alright, let's see if anything develops. Alright, so we got a low of 1,001 off the coast 
of uh, New England. That is in uh, June 13th, a, th a 1,002 low off the coast in J June uh, 13th. Then we have a low off of Florida and Alabama and Mississippi right here of 1,006, 1,005 low right here. Let's see. Then the low goes inland. It affects parts of Florida, parts of uh, Georgia and Alabama and Mississippi. It goes inland at to the 1,007. And then on the 17th, we have more storm systems right there by Florida. Don't know if it's going to develop into anything. Remember, these are forecast models. So this is just what could possibly happen along these dates on June 18th. And then on June 20th, we have a low of 1,007 off the coast of North Carolina on the 20th. And that's all that the models are showing. Alright guys, so heads up uh, for the following uh, days, the 17th, the 18th, and the 20th. There could be possibly um, systems either forming off the Atlantic and the Gulf, or just, you know, heads up, just keeping an eye out on the weather. Also, we're having um, a solar eclipse coming up, so that could also hype up the energy people you know people feeling um either hyper or feeling super energetic and it could uh drive crime up so heads up for that hit like and subscribe for more news and god bless you guys see you guys next time